A couple of weeks ago, I went to a uh, home assistant uh, get together in London. Um, we, uh, me and uh, she who must be obeyed, spent the day in London Zoo. It nearly killed me. Uh, not that she was trying to feed me to the lions or anything like that. Um, it's just a long walk, especially if somebody's got me to hire a wheelchair and I'm pushing it around. So I went to the event. It was quite interesting talking to people um, and kind of meeting people that have got the same issues as I have. Um, they gave out some freebies and I'm going to review them today. So I have one of these, which is an ESP plug, ESP home plug and an ESP plug home lighting module. I've never really used ESP home before. So it's going to be as exciting for you as it is for me. So let's roll the credits and get into it. Okay, let's do the unboxing of this. I don't think there's a lot to this one. Uh, some instructions. What do they say? Anything exciting? Uh, not really. And a plug. Now this is ESP Home, so not quite sure how I set it up. But I imagine it's not that complicated. So we're going to need some electric and a way of plugging it in. Right, as you can see, it's flashing at me. I think that's <laughs> trying to jump on the floor like things do in this house. Right, we'll let that flash for a bit and I'll go to my phone. the Wi-Fi and I find the Anthem device and I want to connect to WSM24 I've got the password already in my paste buffer we click save I think it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi now. It's gone a bit faster, hasn't it? So I can't see it in my IP scanner, but I... It's still flashing. Let's have a look in Home Assistant, just in case it's still here. If I go into settings, oh, I've got lots of things that are broken, but I'm not worried about them now. Devices and services. Oh, look, there it is. So let's click add on that. Do I want to add the device uh, Anthem plug to Home Assistant? Yes, I do. And I sat in the kitchen, so we'll do it in there. Okay. Um... Oh, it's also a Bluetooth, Bluetooth proxy. No, it's not. That's something else. So I've got one device. Let's have a little look. It's got power settings. Um, okay, so I have got an IP address. I don't know why I couldn't see it. Probably me being stupid. So, the interesting thing. Now I've connected it to it. Although I've stopped recording. It stopped flashing. So let's see. What happens? Okay. Let's see what happens. When I switch it on, it goes red. So it looks like you have to connect to it. Um, uh, okay, I can change the configuration. I can put it in smart mode, which is quite clever. 
uh, it's got lots of interesting things on it a little bit more than Tasmota so let's see what happens when I press visit okay okay so I can switch it on and off um, it tells me how much power is being used um, what the Wi-Fi signal is which is great I can switch the status LED on and off as well um, the only thing I'd probably like to do was add a password because anybody could switch it on and off all over the place it's nice to see what's doing there let's plug something in uh, let's plug in plugged in my Alexa so she's bound to start talking when I switch this on go let's switch it on it says it's not using any power I don't think I need to do anything with this no nope. it's just booting up oh, what have I got here Oh, I can, I can make it dark and light. Um, I'm using power now, but I suppose the Alexa's are using so little voltage. Okay, so it looks like an, I can add this like I can any automations. So let's just quickly settings, automations and scenes, create automation, create a new automation. Add a trigger, device, interesting, I wonder what it's called, there it is, anthem plug, so, okay, so we've got lots of things we can do in here, I can change the voltage, I can change when it's drawing power, which might be nice, um, uptime sensors status connected disconnected what happens okay so it's got lots of things we can do so that's the plug um i'm going to need to um to go back in and um configure it it's under esp home um so what i'm probably going to need to do is give it a real name give it an area give it a label um, I'm going to have to create a new label for it because it's not Tasmota. Can I add a new one? Yeah. ESP Home. Icon. ESP. Oh, let's pick that one. Oh, I've got a scheme, hadn't I? But let's pick Amber. ESP home devices create okay uh, I've got an area um, I'm going to leave it at anthem plug for now okay so I've got that device um, set up so let's open this second gadget and get in the box so this is another power management one um, but I think it's a behind light set up which it is uh, three-way relay okay uh, so it's an ESP uh, home setup uh, we've got uh, live in live out neutral in neutral out and S1 and S2 so let me set up um, something to show how this works okay so to test this I need some things so I've got a lamp which you can just see the edge of there there's a picture of it and that lamp I've cut the cable off and it's connected to this so I've got a positive a live and a neutral that go to the lamp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the live out <laughs> and the neutral out to these two um, I've then got what is lovingly called a death cable and the reason it's called a death cable 
is on one end is one of these which I can plug in but on the other end is this live neutral and earth um, so it's called a death cable because if I plug this end in while holding on to this end that's what it will cause so you need to be very careful but for setting up modules like this this kind of stuff is really useful because you can set them up before you get to the wall or before you get to where you're going so let's set this up So I've got uh, live in coming from the plug, live out going to the lamp. I've got um, a neutral going into the in and a neutral out going to the lamp. So we'll put that all there. I'm reasonably happy with that. <sighs> So, moving things out the way, moving the lamp out the way, moving the wires that have got into the way, I didn't put them there, holding everything still, bracing myself for a big explosion because I've wired it up wrong, plugging it in. Okay, now this is flashing underneath. We've seen that flashing before, haven't we? So, on my phone so on my phone go to Wi-Fi no. um, Wi-Fi uh, click on there come on okay it's found an amp mini network so I'll select that one so it all tries to jump on the floor I want to go to my 24 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi paste in the password and click save so let's look for this second device on the computer settings devices and services uh, it's found a mini relay so we'll click add if I want to add it click submit I'm going to put that in the kitchen as well finish so I've got two devices this is the relay let's go and look at that again there's a mini switch I will do that there just quickly record switching it on on and off Okay. Looking at the other settings, again, it's still got the power, the voltage. I can factory reset it from here, which is kind of nice. I've got its IP address. I've got all its stuff here. We'll have a quick visit, but I have a feeling it's going to be the same. Yes, it is.
I can restart safe mode. I can switch the blue LED off and on. OK, no, that's switching the blue LED off and on. That's on and that's off. I don't see why you'd want to do that, but OK. Uh, the thing I need to look at is whether there's any ESP, uh, ESP Home updates. I'm hoping it would tell me. I don't use ESP Home. I've been using Tasmota, but um, never look a freebie. Horse in the mouth. Uh, OK, so that's that. Um, it's going to have all the same settings because it's using the same setup. So I need to put this behind the wall somewhere and give it a go. Perhaps I can put it in. Uh, she must be obeyed office and I can tell her how much power she's using on her lights. OK. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you know how to set up ESP home devices now, or at least ESP homes and ESP modules. Uh, I'll probably do another video in the future when putting that um, in the wall or the ceiling so you get to see everything that's going on there. Um, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. And as before I say uh, that would be all, um, I need to reinforce the point Please be safe with the electricity. It is dangerous, and if you use it wrong, it will kill you. So, like I said, like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you on the next one, unless you're going to watch this one, or this one, somewhere. See you on the next one.